This flyer you see was designed in Canva and in this video I'm going to be walking you through the 6 easy steps to help you design the same thing inside of Canva. And to make things more interesting we would be morphing some of our elements using the new feature introduced in Canva which is the magic morph. And what we would also do is to color grade our photos to make sure we are conveying some exciting vibes. So if you're ready buckle up and also know that all the elements have been linked down in the description box below so you don't miss out on any parts at all. Let's jump straight into Canva. So the first step is to create the background and this is what we are going to do. Make sure you are in Canva and the dimension we are using is 1080 by 1080. Come into the colors and change the color to 191919. Okay, after you do that, make sure you are heading into elements and elements search for mesh. Okay, and once you do that, there are so many options that would pop up. Make sure you are clicking on see all under photos and choose any of the photos that suit your vibe. Okay, so I'll make this one big and what I'll do is to come into transparency and reduce the transparency to 16 or you can go lower if you want after you do that the next thing you are going to do is to add some light element and you should find this if you have downloaded the element in the description box below so to do this i'll just go into my uploads and i'll screw all the way down here we have it i will just make it bigger okay and just position it here come into edit photo and we are going to be changing the color with the draw tone effect so choose draw tone and you can simply choose either the mustard or amber or any of the options you like depending on the color you want to use okay so in my case i want to go with the orange vibe okay so i'll choose this make sure it's bright come to shadow and make sure we are choosing the same color okay so we'll do that and here we are we have changed the color i'll make it bigger and duplicate it using ctrl d and move it also here so you can see what we've been able to do inside of Canva. Now the second step is to add our both element and also morph them okay using the magic morph. So let's see how to do this. So to do this come into element and make sure you are searching for both okay once you search for both there are so many options that should pop up so we want the graphics so we come into graphics and choose any of the options that suit your vibe so I'll just choose this okay as the first one and we'll also add neon okay just to get some interesting um, both neon and what you need to do is with the type of boat you selected make sure you're finding a similar option for the neon okay so you can see this is a similar option so after you selected your option just go on to select the boat element which is the shape and make sure you're coming into apps in apps all you need to search for is morph okay so once you do that you should see this option select it and it should open beautifully so once you click on morph i need you to focus on the describe the look okay because we already have our element selected all you need to type is black glossy okay okay so black glossy then come to magic morph and at this stage you need to give canva some time to process whatever you've told it to do beautiful so you can see canva has created some options for us and just choose the option you feel is the best for you okay so this is the one i've chose and it should be added lovely so you can see what we have over here then i'll just delete this one okay now what we are going to do is to make sure we are arranging our elements nicely i'll increase it and bring the both one in front okay and you can just it doesn't necessarily have to be on top but you can just arrange it in a way that would make everything look nice okay so i'll just do it like this and make sure i'm selecting the one behind and the one on top and you know resize them together now so what we are simply going to do is to make our background look more interesting so i'll make it bigger and have it something like this okay then i'll duplicate it and i would also rotate it this way and bring it here okay the only problem we are facing at the moment is that with the glossy element we wouldn't be able to flip it that's why we are keeping it away we are doing things over here okay so let me just choose it and you know just make it big and at the end of the day all of this is going to be in the background so no big deal at all all right so this is what we are going to do you can see what we are doing and i think we should bring this more inside of our design then we choose what we have in here select the two of them duplicate it and you can bring this one also to the bottom so you can see what we have been able to do at this point you can feel free to change the color of your lens flare to match the color of your neon okay and let's see how to do that so all i'm just going to do is to choose you know this lens flare come into edit photo and i'll come here okay so we can see we have these yellow neon so i just want to go with any of this okay so either mustard or amber so any of these ones should match so i think i'll stick with the pomelo okay 
right then i'll come here into the second one and choose pomelo for it as well so this is what we have been able to do now after we've done that we are going to download our background okay so this is what we are going to do duplicate it okay oh my goodness i rather deleted it <laughs> so duplicate and i'll just delete everything we only have the background come to share download and i'll just download it okay because we'll be using this later on so after you have your image downloaded make sure you are re-uploading it inside of canva so i'll just have to come into my file explorer okay and i know you can't see my screen but just hold on wait a minute something right i said hold up wait a minute something right <laughs> this is me dragging it into canva okay then what we can just do now is to delete this particular page all right so once we've done that the next thing we have to do is to add the inverted triangle so let's do that in canva okay so make sure we are just closing this and we will just come all the way down to frames click on see all okay and in see all we should find some triangles in here okay so you can choose this particular triangle i don't know the name actually i should maybe learn my ships again <laughs> okay then increase the size all the way up like that okay once you've done that make sure you're coming back into your uploads and i'll just scroll all the way to the top just to find the element i added which is this we can see it's still loading so then all i have to do is to drag and drop it inside this particular triangle okay so this is what we have at the moment i hope you're finding it easy so far and before we head on to the fourth step i just want to introduce you to canva pro because recently canva came up with a lot of new features and amazingly some of the features are reserved for pro users and i do not want you to miss out on this so i have a link in the description box below that can help you to start using canva pro for free and also if you want to use some of my free templates the links are in the description box below now let's move on to step four which is adding our wrappers okay <laughs> yeah so we would come into element okay and all i just have to do is to search for wrapper okay and we should have some interesting images in here so if i come here into photos there are so many wrappers we are going to be using okay so in this case i wouldn't want to go through the stress for searching for all of these images all i'm just going to do is to use the recently image i used okay so i'll just come back into my element come to see all and i'll just scroll down to find the recently used images all right so here they are i'll just select the two of them yeah and make sure that we are putting them or arranging them nicely and what you should also know is that when you are dragging your element make sure you do not mistakenly drag and leave your mouse click else it will just replace the image we have in our triangle photo frame okay so i'll just move this here and maybe bring this here a little bit okay and all we are simply going to do is to remove the background so this is a feature with canva pro all right so select it come here and also choose the background remover and we can see what we've done in here what i'm going to do is i'm going to invert this because we have a sharp edge over here so i'll just flip this to have something like that and i'll just make sure that you know the sizes are the same interesting okay they have to look almost the same the width the height everything has to look the same so this is what we have and i think we've done something very beautiful so and what we are going to do now is to move on to the step five which is solidifying the design which means that we are going to be hiding some of these cutout um, parts of the image because we don't want anyone to see that our wrappers don't have legs okay, so what we'll just do now is to right click on the boat any of the boats come to layer and show layers okay so in this case we'll select any of these boats and duplicate them which brings them to the top okay and we'll increase the size so you can see what we are doing and i would just want to rotate it a little bit like this so that it's in line or it's parallel to this triangle all right so the next thing we are going to do is to select any of the boots on the right part of our design okay so we'll just do that again so right click come to layer and show layers okay so that's what we are going to do and i'll just select any of them and duplicate them using ctrl d okay then i'll make this one bigger bring it down over here and i'll rotate it so it's in line with this okay so we can see what we have in here okay that's beautiful lovely and you can see some of the cutout parts are still showing don't worry all you can just do to click on the image oh my god okay relax 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 and drag it up but we wouldn't want to do that what we are simply going to do is add the image we downloaded earlier so come into your upload select it okay and you can just place it here rotate it so it matches with the boat okay so that the angle is almost the same or the rotation is almost the same and send it to the back okay so behind the boat okay then you can duplicate it and bring it here as well alrighty alright okay so this is what 
we are simply gonna do now send it behind and this is what we have at the moment this guy looks too small for some reason so i'll just increase him a little bit okay so that he's more involved in the design okay now the next thing we are simply going to do is to add our text okay so to do this all we are simply going to do is to press t on our keyboard to add our text okay and i'll just bring it to the top and what did i even say motion music okay so i'll just say motion music okay and the font i'm using is league gothic okay so league gothic is a free font available in canva so i'll select this and i'll reduce the line spacing you know a little bit and make this bigger okay just make it bigger then i would want to send it behind the wrappers so something like this i think this should be fine okay or we can also drop them just down a little bit okay because at the end of the day we just want anyone to be able to read what we have in here okay so duplicate the text make sure you are placing it right on top of the original text come to effect and in effect make sure you are choosing neon okay then change the color to yellow all right so once you've done that select it and send it behind okay so you can send it behind using the layer so you can right click come to layer show layers okay and you just have to drag it down it just should be behind the original text okay so now that you've done that we'll just duplicate this again bring it down here and we'll just see hosted not who asked <laughs> hosted by okay so hosted by then we'll reduce this one also a little bit and um, you can see the hand of this guy would be in the way so what we can do is we can just rotate him you know just somehow a little bit send it a little bit to the top okay uh, and yes we can just also bring this here so we can say hosted by then just do the same duplicate it position this on top and we'll come to effect choose neon okay and we'll change the color to yellow okay so change it to yellow and make sure it's right on top and we'll send it behind lovely javelin now there's one more text we would want to add which is motion music night okay so i will just maybe duplicate this one and just say night okay n i g h t select everything and we'll change the font to script okay I'm going to use the shadow script. All right. Now make everything big and, and just say night. So once you've done that, bring it down a little bit. Okay, night, reduce the size and I'll put it here. And over here, you can see we just made it um, neon. Okay, so we just add the same effect. So come to effect, come to neon just to give it some vibes. Okay, now we'll select this and bring it down over here okay and you can put anyone's name in there so if you are the one hosting the event you can just use your name okay so let me just even first of all make sure this is centered okay centered okay so we are simply going to add our name here so i can just say muse muse b okay so let's say that's the organizer of the show all right so and i'll make this bigger because this is more important than the hosted by so we want to make sure we are reducing the size of this okay so reduce it and bring this one down here all right so we are almost done what we are simply going to do next is to add the names of our rappers okay so the first of all we'll just add any of the text okay so i'll select this and maybe just say maybe dj vibes okay so v i b e z and we'll increase no decrease the size not increase the size and position it somewhere here okay and i can just duplicate it and bring it in here and this one can be dj lipsy okay lips z all right so now that we've done that what we are simply going to do is to press r on our keyboard bring it here okay just to add some shape in here it will change the color to um 191919 the same color we use for the background when we began okay so reduce it okay and make sure that the padding around is making sense i think that's the best way i can describe it <laughs> all right then come into element and make sure you are choosing neon just search for neon okay and we should find some interesting graphics in here so you can choose any of them and i'll position this here okay so it looks like this neon is much more of like a square neon okay so if you want you can just make sure you're finding some okay this one is better so we can just delete this and put this one rather here and reduce the size okay so reduce the size and make sure you are selecting the shape behind okay and just arrange it make sure everything is looking very nice all right then with this neon change the color just to match okay we are making sure everything is matching 
okay so select it select it all right okay so make it white instead yeah then we are going to duplicate everything so if you want to select any element you have behind what you need to do is to press control press and hold control while you click it would make sure it's selecting the element behind all right so just to see this in action what we are simply going to do is if i want to select the shape behind i'll press and hold control click on my text click again okay and click again so you can see it's selecting what's behind which means that i'm clicking the wrong place i'll just come and do it over here okay then now that i have it selected i'll press and hold shift and select the neon okay and use ctrl d to duplicate so you can see what we have in here bring it here and send it to the back using the control and the square bracket the opening square bracket so you can see what we have at the moment now moving on to the last step which is color grading our photos to make sure it's matching the vibe this is what we are simply going to do have your image selected come into edit photo and come into adjust okay so we are going to be depending on the temperature and the tint so you can see that our image looks yellowish okay so i will just move it to the yellow um, place and if i want to tint it a little bit i can just do this making sure the vibe is vibing okay and we'll do the same for this one as well just to make sure everything is looking very interesting okay so increase it to 52 and i'll move this one also over here so you can see what we have i want them to match so i'll increase the size and bring it here and maybe just drop this guy down a little bit interesting so i hope you learned something new in this tutorial if you did all i need you to do is to like this video and also to watch this video you see on your screen you'll actually learn more about canva don't forget there's no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video mm -hmm.